Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel or www.whatsupinthesky.com. You can come catch me online and check out all of our videos, other people's videos, a nice easy way to see it. And you are looking at a Curiosity Rover, fo rover photo which was uh, just recently taken. And uh, no, my mouse pad's not working. I should have checked that before I started. Um, but let me see if I can go ahead and move some of this out without the pad. Or we're going to have to start this video again. Let's see. Well, we're going to start it over again. We'll keep going here. It's a very interesting picture. Say it's right from the rock. Uh, the newest souls that are coming down. I think this was uh, 365. Yeah. So this is on the way to Mount Sharp. The uh, and it's so weird. We're, we're not. It doesn't seem like we're getting really crisp, sharp. You know, pictures of Mount Sharp as we're going there. Let me reset this. So this is how it looks like when it comes down from the rover right there. Um, Let's see if that works. The mouse pack is going to come up. There we are. All right. Sorry about that. That gives me the ability to, to, to jump in real fast. And uh, look at. I just want you to look at the decoration on this rock. It looks like almost like a treasure chest. Um, now this area up here totally looks like it's been just thrown about. Something happened here. This was definitely some sort of uh, house or some sort of shed. Something that had to do with something that was just tossed up and, and destroyed. You can see in here there's a lot of interesting... Uh, a lot of interesting uh, tool type things. What looks like building material here. Uh, let's see this right here, where the uh, this almost rock-looking features here, where they've actually got like a circle off the end of that. Um, here you've got into this perfect rock right there. You almost look like you have a face built in with two perfect eyes and a uh, mouth there, as well as a nose. Now. That's just speculative. That doesn't look like anything, but if we keep looking closely here, it does look kind of look like a statuary or something that's happened. Um, like I say, we've got this right here. It looks like it could have been at the top of a statue. Once again, we get these perfectly aligned and carved. See how that's been carved there, that that rock. And then uh, up here, once again, we have a, a hollow inside of this rock, but you've got a smooth as it comes up. And we can't see the other side, but it looks to be about the same width like distance on down um, we've also got something there that looks like a seal it's pretty interesting I didn't even notice that before um, something about this rock interests me too it's just a really neat kind of just sitting there rock um, it's sitting next to one that's triangled out a couple things over here there's a uh, rock here that looks like it's got another rock or something just sitting on top of it or blow I mean almost looks like it's something living on top of it now, what if, now let me check this out. What if the humans on Mars were very small? Like uh, Stephen Greer, he's a doctor. They think they found some sort of humanoid here on Earth that was about, you know, this big, six inches. What if they are only six inches? What if they're only three inches there? Um, you know, people say they see all the time I get things. I not have trouble seeing them. My eyes will see the geometric shapes, the rocks. Um, I have trouble seeing the humans, but... Maybe that is a little human sitting there. If that was his head and he was just chilling on a rock, I don't know. I'm just saying that. I'm probably going to get your crazy nutball from here and that. But, you know, I hear that so much from my subscribers that it's worth looking into. Right here is another thing. Now, let me drop the temperature back down so it looks like Earth standards a little bit. And uh, now that I have a good idea of what I want to look at, I want to look at this pile. I want to look at this stuff. Let's go ahead and pull it up in Photoshop. Oh, I also want to look over here because this rock seems to be some part of a base to something. Maybe the base to the statue there that was thrashed. Looks like you've got a uh, half of a piece of a rock here with indents in it. Maybe a pipe coming out of the one side of it. It's just a very interesting... Uh, that coming straight up out of the ground. It's a very interesting... Back here also looks like another skull. Um... Oh, it also looked at some point like there were some shoes sticking up. See if I can find them again. Uh, and not necessarily shoes, but these perfect... See how it's got these perfectly cut angles? And it almost looks like a lot of these cut here have uh, opened up like a, like a clam would or something along those lines. So up here there's some interesting stuff. So let me go pull this up. Let me show you how oh, over here is some interesting stuff too. So let's get this in Photoshop. Let's see. Let's get in to show you where it is first. As always, check the description. You'll see this page. Get the full resolution. Let me see how far we're. Alright, we're five minutes in. Let's get Photoshop. See if we can get out of here in ten. 
I, uh, I know everybody says don't apologize for long videos but I always feel bad when I do these long videos but there's so much to see and I like to put some of these on the same because some of them warrant their own little picture and stuff but let's take a look at this area right well you know what first let's see what Photoshop thinks the colors got in it when I hit auto color auto contrast auto tone it's going to make it take out you know say usually it takes out crappy things that were with my filter so say my filter had on something that accidentally gave it this dusty look it'll get rid of it and it'll, it'll look a lot more bluer and the rock should take more shape let's see yep, right away there it is I hadn't done that yet so every picture I do it on from the rover seems to do that so watch that again auto color let's do auto tone and I want to do auto contrast and that gives me a little bit decent picture to work with and also to see uh, what exactly is, is connected to where so now let's go back up and take a look at the first anomaly I saw where were you actually what, what? at this point I forget after I saw a couple of the other ones I started forgetting which one it was there's this thing I want to look at right here that's sitting on the ground definitely this stuff I want to look at because it looks like it may be some sort of uh, some sort, some sort of collection. I, it's, it's hard to tell. Like it almost looks like books, but um, we've noticed from a lot of my other pictures that it almost looks like there's a lot of Martians that are just sitting there dead, or something's happened. But let's take a look at what I say that treasure chest was out here, because that was one of the most interesting to me. So let me go ahead and get it like this. I'm gonna make it so I can go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and copy it or basically crop that image crop and then it's in 72 resolution so that's the best we're gonna see it in this resolution so what I'm gonna do is image size I'm just gonna bump the uh, dots per inch up to 300 it's gonna make it bigger on my screen but look at the colors of it right off the bat look at the colors you see the purples the greens it almost looks like something that's buried it, to me it looks like a treasure chest that's buried I don't know why just in my head when you know when I was a kid I loved treasure um, it's funny my grandfather used to write me notes with little treasure maps and stuff and we talk about being Indians and you know looking for stuff it, it was pretty cute I actually found one the other day it made me cry but anyway enough of that sappy stuff you know I know you hopefully you've had grandparents parents you've been able to share your lives with it's amazing when you have family that loves you what you can do in your life and what how that help and being taught manners and taught how to work and just given really helps it allows you like stuff like this I'm making my hobby a lot of people complain because uh, you know they'll come here and call me lunatic and stuff but I'm making my hobby something extra that I enjoy not only enjoy it but using YouTube I'm actually making extra money good money from this I mean it's not my day job money um, but I've worked really hard to become an IT director this is uh, you'd be surprised though I mean I'm making more money just from YouTube and my couple channels I have doing something I love and absolutely love and it, it hopefully you guys don't mind sitting through the ads especially if you're watching something you enjoy because just remember every time you're sitting by the ads you're helping somebody out um, and it's better to help us out than YouTube so enough ranting there I need to get back on this one I just want to show you a couple let me see if those auto any of these auto buttons work this close to it I doubt it where it's gonna give you that real dark part of it let's see let's go back to the old adjustments let's see what we can do with the exposure and the gamma see if that gives us anything Ooh, nice and dark yeah I'm just gonna say that's about as good as it's gonna get with that let me put the exposure down or up see the colors in it though look at the pinks the blues the teal as I add more 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 red more teal pretty neat is that part of an engine part of something what is that there you guys got got to have some ideas below if you made it this far as always I love you guys you rock I don't I wouldn't do it without you guys if I had nobody watching this channel I surely wouldn't do it I don't know why my channel has a lot of hits I'm sorry if your channel doesn't and you're out here hating it seems like lately I've got an influx of haters but I'm also getting an influx of people like you guys who love to watch these videos love to comment and keep me going day to day 
Now this is one other thing I wanted to take a look at here. Let's just take a quick look at this as well. Image, adjust, um, let's see if any other stuff helps. Do, 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 do. There it is. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's about as good as it gets. So, anyway, much love, guys. There's some more stuff there to look at, a whole bunch of stuff that we just probably missed. It's a great picture to go grab. Um, like I said, there's a lot of the, this right here looks to be carved. This area right here. Let me see if I can do this area one more time as well, too. I got daydreaming there for a second after I... Uh, let me see if I can do it like this. You know, let me get my trackpad back out. The trackpad doesn't work on Adobe unless you do this. Alright, so let's do. No. Oh, you know what? That's why it's doing that. It thought I was still in there. Okay. So let's do this real quick, just for giggles. Because I've been dying to see if I can get that out a little bit more there. Exposure. Well, let's see. There's a lot of these up here. See how the rocks kind of just build up? It's very interesting. The whole area is... It almost looks like something just toppled this stuff over. I can't say otherwise. What, what else? I mean, it does look like something came through or just toppled this stuff over. I mean, they look like they were all part of something at one time. Um, whether these... You know, there's right angles on the ground. There's circles everywhere. Um, a lot of things that kind of look the same, like look at this and this, are you know pretty pretty much the same. Um, but anyway, guys, much love. I'm letting this one go long. Take it easy. I'm gonna have to cut out some of that when I was daydreaming looking at that. But <laughs> let me know what you guys think it is. Is that the treasure chest or what? Do we need to get up there and see if it's filled with some sort of you know Martian booty? I think it might have some Martian booty in it. Image crop. Image size, give me that size. Give me 200 this time. Bam, and now let's do this. Adjust auto contrast. I don't know. I sure would be love to be the person that opens and finds it out. Take it easy, guys. I will be back, of course.